Let's work on part D now. What is bet is optimal amount of leisure with the welfare program? What's the difference in earnings? Okay, so basically we're going to replicate the same math except that we're having a different budget constraint. We're thinking now in the program when we have the benefit, we're going to use this budget constraint in our, in our Lagrange. So let's do that. We'll write the Lagrange over here so we can keep track of the budget constraint as well. Our Lagrange will look the following. We want to maximize the utility function, which is, which is equal to y to the power of one over six, y to the power of one over six times L to the power of five over six plus lambda. Let me just change colors for that. Plus lambda multiplied with the budget constraint, which is going to be four, to 920 minus 6L minus Y. Now with that said, we're going to do these partial derivatives where we take the Lagrange derivative with respect to Y equals to zero and Lagrange derivative with respect to leisure equals to zero. So let's do so. Now when we differentiate Lagrange with respect to Y, we keep the constant that's going to be L to the power of five over six and the derivative of Y to the power one over six, that's one over six times Y to the power of minus five over six. And from this expression, when we differentiate with respect to y, we're left only with the constant of minus one times lambda. So minus lambda equals to zero. Now with that said, we do it for the second part as well, for the second first order condition. We're differentiating with respect to L now. So L is the variable, meaning we keep y to the power one over six as our constant, y to the power one over six times the derivative of L to the power of five over six is just five over six times L to the power of minus one over six. And from here, when we differentiate with respect to L, we're left with minus six times lambda. So minus six lambda equals to zero. Now with that said, let's take the lambdas on the other side because we're going to replicate the same math, the same method. We want to make lambda equals to lambda. And from here we have L to the power of five over six times Y to the negative of that power, meaning we can write it we could write it as a fraction. So L divided by Y to the power of five over six times one over six is equal to lambda. We're taking it to the other side. So that's equal to lambda. And over here below we do the same. Y to the power one over six times L to the power of minus one over six. Well, we'll have Y over L to the power one over six times five divided by six equals to, equals to six lambda. We're taking six lambda over there. So that's equal to six lambda. Now we want to leave only lambda on one side. So we're going to divide the second equation, both sides by six. So let's do so. We're still keeping the same thing over here. L over Y to the power of five over six times one over six equal to lambda. And over here below, we're going to have Y over L, Y over L to the power of one over six times five divided by six divided by six again would be equal to five divided by 36 five divided by 36 equals to lambda. Now we can use our equation where lambda is equal to lambda and we will have that this expression is equal to the expression below. So let's try that. We will have L divided by Y to the power five over six times one over six equals to Y over L, Y over L to the power of one over six times five divided by 36. Now we can cancel out something over here six and 36 that goes away and we're left with five over six over here let's take this term on the other side by dividing it because we want to have the numbers on, on one side and the variables on the other side to have that expression between l and y uh, what do we have we will have the following we'll have l to the power five over six let me just open these brackets over here l to the power five over six divided by y to the power five over six divided by y over L, meaning we're multiplying with the inverse. So we'll mark, we're multiplying with L to the power one over six divided by y to the power of one over six equals to five over six on the other side. That's what we're left with. So we have only five over six on the other side. Now with that said, we could see that we can see that we have the same thing as we did in the previous video, where L to the power of five over six times L to the power of one over six becomes just L. So we're left with L divided by y equals to five over six. If we do a cross multiplication over here, what will we have? Well, we will have the fact that L equals to five over six times Y. L equal to five over six multiplied with Y. Now with that said, we can substitute it into our budget constraint because we know our budget constraint. Our budget constraint is equal to Y, Y equals to 4920 minus six times L. Now instead of, instead of L, we could substitute five over six times Y. So let's do so. But we're actually, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna to get to the same answer anyway. So we have now Y equals to 4920 minus six times five over six times Y. 
so we're substituting this one over here 5 over 6 times y now 6 and 6 cancels out so 6 and 6 cancels out meaning that we're going to have y and we're taking 5y to the other side y plus 5y that's 6y equals to 4920 4920 so that income is equal to 820 euros right income will be equal to 820 euros and the leisure is going to be 820 times 5 over 6 this expression over here 820 times 5 over 6 so the leisure will be the leisure will be 5 over 6 times 820 and that's equal to that's equal to 683.3 683.3 now let's compare how much she rests when she has the benefit with when she doesn't in the previous video we saw that when she doesn't have the benefit betty by the way where was it uh, somewhere over here yes she rested 600 hours instead of 683 so she rested less meaning she worked more and how much money did she make well uh, i think income was equal to income was equal to how much 2l so the income over here let's calculate the income over here income was two times l so two times 600 which is 1200 euros so she earned more money because she also worked more with the benefit she makes less money she makes only she makes only 820 euros but she has more leisure and what's the intuition here it's what we discussed in the beginning of this question is that when we have this benefit of literally free money of this grant from the government there's less incentive to work and that's what this math proves the the that consumer is going to decide to work less you know rest more and also have less money hope this all makes sense and we are done